Hey guys, it's Mamie and welcome back to another Chalk Couture video and today we are playing with a one-time use board. Now this is really interesting. Chalk Couture carries this little line right here and they are called one-time use double-sided. Let me show you what that means. This is one of the boards and you can see it has this kind of white wood um, distress feel on the inside and the back is smooth on purpose so you can do designs on both sides. So this is not one that you will remove, this is one you'll make permanent. So these are the two transfers we're gonna use. This one is called Enjoy the Journey with the little bike and the little layers to go with it. And this one is called Baby It's Cold Outside. I love this one right here. And we're gonna see what we can do. So let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is cut these pieces apart. And the cool thing about these transfers is that they give you the line to cut them apart. But the other cool thing is you can cut them down even further if you need to for your project. What I mean by that, is let's say you needed one snowflake and if you look here, this has three snowflakes. If you wanted to, you could cut these apart and use them individually, but you can also just ink the particular one that you're wanting. So you don't have to follow these lines, but you can. You can do whatever works for you. So a tip from Amanda, this is a really good tip. When you get your um, boards in from Chalk Couture, they come wrapped in these nice packages. So we had a demo that we did this weekend and it rained and we didn't think anything about that. But had we saved this box for demos and carrying things around, this would be so easy to just put this in here to protect what we're putting on it and we could have carried it out without it getting wet. So you might want to think about that, um, about hanging onto these boxes. And the best part is you can flatten them out and just slide them behind a bookcase or under a couch or under a bed and just hold on to these so you can wrap everything up and I would even go as far as to put the name on here as what goes in you know because if you're going to be doing demos and traveling with your projects this is a great great way to um, you know keep everything protected and have something to carry them in and avoid the elements. So some of my team members have asked me, what's the best way to open the chalk when you first get it in? And I use these spoons to stir with a lot of times because I can wash them off and use them over and over. But watch this. If you take the edge of the spoon and you kind of lay it onto the um, foil and you just slide it around, it's almost like your own can opener. It's like you're making a little can opener and it just slides right around the edge. And I don't really worry about that little bit that's left up there around the ring. This just gets this open for me so easy. And it's literally like a little can opener. You just push it up against the little wall and it helps you to get this open. Pretty easy if you ask me. We're almost there and I'm kind of rubbing back and forth. And then I can just poke in and pick this up and it comes right out. Cool beans, right? All gone. Okay, for stirring, you see how this looks when I first get it? It looks kind of not so appealing. We're gonna stir all this together. I'm just gonna start to mix. You want this to have a yogurt consistency. I feel like I say that all the time, but that's what you're looking for. This is beautiful. Look how pretty this paste is looking. So just stir, stir, stir. If you have the stylus that I love, I'll use it in a minute. You can start with that too. Um, it's just whatever you use, what you use in your stash. And we have gotten kind of to the point that we have a stash of things that we use. And you will too, you'll kind of have a tub or a bucket where you put things around. So those are tips, and now we're gonna get everything ready so we can chalk that board super quick. So this is a layered transfer, and I'm gonna start with the wheels. So they're gonna go down toward the bottom here, and then I'm gonna layer the body and all the little pieces on top of that. So we may have to dry this one in between, but I'll show you how we do that in a second. So let's start by fuzzing our transfer. And here's what I do. This is my little, it's a microfiber towel. You don't have to use microfiber. I just, that's what I use for everything nowadays, so that's what I use. You just wanna stick your transfer down, just like this, and then peel this away. And you might wanna do this a couple times because these transfers are super sticky. And what you're really trying to do is knock the sticky back. I'm not so much trying to pick up a bunch of lint, I'm just trying to knock the sticky back, and this really does that. Um, but you can use any piece of fabric or towel or tea towel, whatever you've got laying around. So now you just place this, and here's what I love. I show everybody this. So this thing is sticky, sticky, okay? But look how I can roll this into place where I want it. And I'm gonna do it something like that. And then once I press it down, it sticks. And I'm gonna run around and make sure I don't have any air bubbles in this piece. And I'm not pressing the corners super hard because I'm gonna need to pick those up. So I'm just kind of avoiding that. All right. The wheels, I'm gonna make this pretty gray color. This color is called Storm. 
We've already stirred these. We did it to kind of speed up the process, but we went ahead and opened these all up and stirred them all. Look how pretty that looks. So I'm just gonna take a little. I can always get more if I need to. I'm gonna use my stylus and just go over the transfer. You're not really trying to press super hard. You're trying to fill in the screen with the ink. So I'm not trying to like press super hard down. I want that ink to kind of fall into the, into the transfer. You'll know what I mean when you do this the first time. Because if you press too hard or you pull real hard, you can distort the image or you could even, I don't really have this much trouble too much, but you can push the chalk underneath, but that doesn't really happen too much. There's a really good adhesion. So you usually don't have that problem. All right, I'm gonna do both of the wheels. Now, if you would like to start doing chalk couture, I have all the information below. You can be one of three things. You can be a customer, where you just purchase off the website. I'll have that link below. You can be a designer, where you actually sell the product, demo the product, you build a team. And you can also be a hobbyist, where you get the product at 40% off. So if you want information about that, the information is in the description below for how to get that information. Okay, I'm gonna pick up these edges which I did not stick down on purpose because I don't want to fight them. And notice that I'm not pulling from one corner across. I'm going to pull with an even pressure because it is a screen and I do not want to distort the screen for the next time I use it. Look how cute those wheels are. That's adorable. Okay, in front of me, I have a water bath. This is a bowl full of water. I've already got some of the chalk stuff we've been stirring in there. I'm gonna place this in like this and just let it float until I can get done and go to the sink and wash it. I'm gonna close this gray up because I don't wanna get my hand in it. You know what, let's go ahead and do the um, sentiment while this continues to dry because like I said, I'm gonna layer this and I know I want this sentiment to go at the top here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that at the top. Well, I thought I had my camera going when I did these mittens, but they are so cute. I did them in red and then the little um, 
balls here, the pom-poms on the end, I did in white. I thought that would be cute. And you might even want to do the strings in white, but I just thought it'd be easy for me to do that. So I'm going to let this dry completely so we can put our wording here at the top. So there you go guys, there is the back side. How cute is baby, it's cold outside. That's adorable. And when we flip it over, we have enjoy the journey on the other side. I love this piece, I hope you guys love it too. And again, if you want any information about Chalkature, everything is in the description below. Have a great one guys, talk to you again real soon, bye bye.